This is the foundation coming at you with my Cowboys versus Browns video. Going rolling with the Cowboys, you know that. Um, but this game, you know, you know, because some people are talking. Well, I'll get into that a little bit. Um, you know, some people like the. Someone told me like they like the story thing. Um, I have no real big stories about the Browns except for the one with um. I, I it gotta be '94. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. But um, when when the Cowboys was looking like they're going in for the game winner, and you know, Jay Novacek got stone cold stuffed on the goal line, and I was like, oh, and we ran out of time. That was, I think, it was '94. If I'm wrong, somebody can correct me. I know. Again, I'm not, I'm not ashamed to be wrong, but at the same time, you know, uh, that's one memory that I do have. And you know a guy that we make fun of a lot, you know Brandon Whedon. Brandon Whedon, you know, like we make fun of him, but he had one of the biggest. We won the game, but he had one of the biggest games of his career against us. So, so you know, um, but yeah, you know, some people calling this a trap game. I, I'm calling about like let's not mess up on a, let's not mess up on an opportunity. You know, I you know some people say, oh, what are you talking about? You know, we number one in the uh, one in the you know conference, and I'm like, yeah, but you know, it's not that much. You know, uh, Minnesota is only a game behind. Um, you know, everybody else is only two games behind. So let's not screw this up, kind of thing. You know, and you never know. I mean, the ref, you know, the referees could be more involved. You know, um, you know, could be a couple couple controversial calls, or it could be a game where they, they're saying they're not allowing something to happen, you know, and all that, or it could be a call that where you know, you know, something looks like this, but they had they have not, you know, could because again the referees make make a, make a decision and you know they can't go against it or or whatever, you know, something could happen. So it, you know, you know, I'm not a big believer in um, any given Sunday. I mean, I do throw some stock into it, but. You know, but because um, all a team has to be is great for one game, you know, and then and they could beat a good team, a great, you know, a good team. You know, I'm not going to call us a great team yet. We're a very, very damn good team. I'll put it that way. Um, I say great into, you know, into the playoffs or, or in it or not. Or not. Um, but, yeah, you know, like if you saw my prediction videos, um, I give Hugh Jackson a lot of credit. He gets these guys playing very, very hard. You know, you know these guys. You know they don't have that quit attitude. I mean, they owe in, they owe in eight, and they still, you know, they still come out. I mean, you know, they could have a one win in um, against the Ravens. Um, you know, if it wasn't for a penalty, they could have beaten the Dolphins. And I'm not comparing the Cowboys to these other teams. Like I just saying in general, like these guys are playing hard in that in that sense, like. You know, it wasn't for a couple of, you know, I think three missed field goals. I think the Browns could have won the Dolphins game. And, you know, I guess the Jets, you know, they had a they had a commanding lead and then they gave it up at the end. But, again, these guys don't, these, these guys are not going to quit. They're not going to say, oh, my God, the Cowboys are rolling in. They have the number one rushing attack. We, we are 31st, I guess, around. Oh, you know, in, they're not going to, Hugh Jackson is not going to allow these guys to end. And they don't, you know, for the most part, they give them credit. They don't. And, you know, I, I do believe in matchups, you know, and all that. And we got our we got our blows, you know. Um, Mo, Mo is out, you know, church is out, church is out. And, you know, like, this quickly going on their side of the ball, you know, the offensive side. You know, prior, they kind of use them like how they used to use, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers used to use um, Cordell Stewart. You know they bring them in a quarterback every now and then, and what they do is, uh, and, and he's a big physical, and he's fast, you know, big physical and fast, you know, and all that. <clears throat> um, so, you know, he he's a guy that has to watch um, their first, you know, you know their first uh, pick in the draft, uh, Coleman. He's been a he he's been a decent player for them too, you know. So, so they you uh, know Crowell. He's been a you know, for a little while, I think he's still top 10, but for a little while, I think he was in the top five as far as rushing yards is concerned. And then, you know, another kid, the U, you know, Duke Johnson, um, you know, he's he's a great weapon out of the backfield. So, you know, and it's the second week in a row, we're going to have to deal with that kind of things and all that. You know, I'm not saying we're up to the chance, but, you know, with, with our injuries too. You know, and, and right before I made this video, I, I kind of thought about this and, 
You know, it's kind of like, oh man, you know, not spoiled, but kind of like, huh, oh, why, can, why can't we have it all at one time, you know? You know, like have the perfect, you know, have, have the perfect situation kind of thing. You know, um, you know, a few years ago, um, you, I mean, well, you know, we know more that he's been suffering through his injuries and all that, you know, and, you know, he hasn't had the opportunity, his confidence was shot, you know. You know, and then you know he Scandrick's playing at an all-time level, and then right when right when um, Mo gets his confidence, he starts he starts gaining a little confidence. Scandrick is out for the year, and then this year, you know, Scandrick is coming back. Scandrick is not healthy, but Mo is playing on a high level. And right when we get Scandrick back fully healthy, Mo goes out again. I was like, <laughs> but. But you know, like I, I mean, give them credit and all that. But this will be like a game where, you know, where like our defense, you know, the last two weeks we haven't won the time of possession battle, um, and our defense has shown up a lot. Um, but um, this game right here, you know, could be another, you know, another area where our, you know, our um, not our just our offense, but our defensive line really steps up to the plate and goes, you know what? We can contribute too, you know. The orphans can contribute. <laughs> I'm gonna use it. <laughs> um, you know, D Law. You know, he has his fourth game back. You know, uh, you know, he's starting to make some moves and all that. He made a couple of good moves on Pete. Um, J, you know, Peters. You know, where he got that big, huge um, pressure, which caused Wentz to throw it away, and all that. You know, and then Tyrone Crawford, he's been key. He's been big in key moments. Um, he's getting better as as far as um, setting the edge and stuff like that. And then you know our guy, you know McLean, he's been a one, you know our best defense alignment. You know, not to not to miss anybody else, but you know those are the streaming guys. You know, I'm really looking forward to. And you know these other guys can, you know, again everybody can. The defensive line can really step up and you know start making an impact on this game too as well. Um, offensively, you know, Browns give up a lot of big plays, especially during the running game. And you know what? It'll, it'll be a great game where Zeke, you know, gets to the second level. Get you know, we score very early. You know, we score very early, and then we, you know, because some people is con some people start to get concerned about his carries. And you know, if we get that early, you know, just just get them get on them early, and then you know, you can give more 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 touches. You can give. Um, Dunbar more touches, so you know get them out of there. You know, and you know if um, Green is act active, you know get Tyrone out of there. You know as fast as can. So it's kind of like a thing where you're like, okay, let's hurry up, avoid anything bad happening. You know, continue on our momentum. You know, continue on the, on the momentum and not let not anything um, take a you know not take advantage of you know I mean not take for granted of anything. So. You know, again, it's not at any given Sunday, but you know what it is. One team can be one great, you know, be great for one game, and that's all it takes. And you know, like I said, the referees could be involved. You know, and all that. You know, I'm not saying you know conspiracy theories. That's that's how it is. You know, sometimes the referees get involved in, you know, in this kind of muddy kind of game. So let's not even put it in their hands. Alright, well, that's my video. Mahalo for watching. Paniolo boys, go Cowboys.